So now we are discussing the components of data communication. Well, data communication meaning the network. So what are the major components of network that we are going to understand? So first of all, I am taking one example and with the help of example, we will take out all the components so that we don't have to learn. Now, we know that if I have to send the data, then first of all, we need one computer. Now, this computer is the computer which is going to send the data. So we can say that it is the sender. So the first component into the data communication is the sender. Sender the, is the person who is going to send the data to somebody. Now, if sender is there, for sure, there will be some kind of the person who is going to get that data. So that computer should be available and that is called the receiver. So there is another computer that is called the receiver, which is going to receive the data. So next component of the data communication is the receiver. Now, sender is going to send the data. Which data? Means if I am the sender and I want to send to you, then for sure I will be having some kind of information of data. And that information of data is what? It is the message. So sender is having some kind of message that it is going to send. So next component of the data communication is the message. Message will be sent by the sender to the receiver. Now, sender is going to send to the receiver. How? There should be some medium. Let us suppose that that medium is the wired medium. But that is not compulsory that the medium should be wired or the wireless. Okay. So there should be one medium and we say it as the transmission medium. Transmission medium means which is going to transmit the data. So transmission medium and this transmission medium is the next component of data communication. We can mention here transmission medium. Now, afterward, we know that through this transmission medium, the message is going to send. Now, it is not only the thing that we are sending a message through the transmission medium and it is going to the destination. There should be some standard set between sender and the receiver through which they are working. Let us suppose that sender and the receiver are having the same pattern they are following. Let us suppose they are, they are saying, I will send you the email, you can open that. Or if I am sending you the email, that is the password of that email. Or I will send you through this technology. So what is that? What are those rules? Those rules are called the protocols. So there are some standard rules which are available with the sender as well as the receiver. These are the protocol. So the next component is the protocol. Protocol means the set of rules. So this is the next component. Protocol. Now if we are going to understand everything one by one, then first of all, we are having the message. Let us suppose that there is a message and this message we want to send. Now, this message is available. So message is some kind of data or the information that can be communicated. It can be any image. It can be any audio file, video file or any number, anything it can be there. Now this message is with whom it is with the sender. So this person sender is having the message. Now, what is sender? Sender is a device that is used to transmit the data. Sender can be the computer. 
it can be the mobile phone it can be some video camera anything which is going to send out the data that is the sender and afterward we are having the transmission medium through which the data is going to send so this message is going to send through the transmission medium to the receiver now here it is going so transmission medium transmission medium can be wired or the wireless and if it is the wired so it will be a physical path where the message will travel it can be the twisted pair cable it can be the coaxial cable fiber optic cable or the some waves if i am talking about the wireless connection it can be radio wave microwave so that can be there afterward we are having is the receiver who is going to take out that data so this message is now at receiver so receiver is going to take out that particular message and yes that we cannot forget is the protocol protocol is very much important because you see if i talk about the protocol now protocols is having many rules which sender and receiver both have to follow so we can say that protocols are the set of rules so rule 1 2 3 up to so on many rules are defined into the networking and those rules which are followed are called the protocol and sender and receiver both are agreeing on them so protocol is the agreement between communicating devices so that communication can be proceed properly let us suppose that the agreement between you and me is the microsoft teams and uh, we have the agreement that our lecture will be of 1 hour and in this particular time you have to pay attention i will communicate in the english you will understand that i will upload the assignment you will download that so that is agreement between you and me so these are the protocols that we have to follow so these are the five components of data communication which can be used for sending the data